What is up guys? My name is Coach Joe and I am the owner of the Lion's End, which is a 5,000 square foot strength and conditioning facility. This is actually my third location and I want to talk about some of the mistakes that I made when opening up a gym. So let's grab some coffee and get right on into it. Let's go. What is up guys, Coach Joe at the Lion's Den. First, let's take a sip of this amazing coffee. <sighs> a lot of you guys want to content on how I run the gym business, or maybe you are someone who wants to start a gym, have a garage gym that you're looking to scale, whatever, but I figured a really good place to start would be the biggest mistakes that I've made opening up this gym. And this is my third location, so I have a ton of wisdom on what has worked, what hasn't worked, and hopefully set you guys up by avoiding the things that I ran into and give you guys a lot less of a bumpier road to get this business rocking and rolling. But before we get on into it, make sure that you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the videos that are coming out. A little bit of background on the gym. The current location I'm in is 5,000 square feet. I'm in a commercial space and we do all things strength sport related. So powerlifting, strongman, general strength conditioning, uh, and I have about 60 members in the gym currently. So speaking of location, that's actually the first biggest mistake that I had made. So mistake number one was rushing the location that I was gonna have the gym in. I gotta turn on my, my cool little light. Just sets the mood a lot better. You guys feel that? I feel it, feels good. Back on track. And if you guys know me, and I'm sure a lot of you are like me, is that I get super passionate and excited about something and I wanna get it done right away. Now that's not necessarily the best way to go about things because not taking enough time is actually what kind of hurt me in the long run and postponed me being able to open up. And when it came to location, I overlooked a lot of little things that ended up setting me back a long way. So if you guys have watched my other videos about what had happened with my previous gyms, uh, you guys understand. If you haven't, I'll put a link up right here. But basically, I ran into a lot of structural problems with the building. So the floors weren't suited for dropping heavy weight. You know, I couldn't get my music as loud as I wanted it to. The parking was a major issue, and so on and so forth. There's a lot more things, but check out that video up above. But something that you guys really want to pay attention to, especially with location in regards, is the lease. Okay, so how loud can you play your music? What is the parking situation going to be like? How many bathrooms do you have? Is it too big, too small? Do you want retail? Do you want commercial? Retail is going to be more expensive, more visibility. Commercial is going to be bigger, not as much visibility, but it's going to be probably cheaper uh, per square foot. So these are all things that you really have to look into uh, and don't just settle with what's in the lease. Like you can make adjustments, make as much adjustments as you need to and make sure that you're happy with the lease and that it hits everything that you need to because even though it may be something small, it could end up being something that's gonna uh, bite you in the butt and kind of screw up the whole grand plan of what you got going on. You really wanna make sure you can drop heavy weights on the floor and that they're not gonna crumble and the building's not gonna fall down. Just saying, experience. Okay guys, so mistake number two that I made when I opened up the Lion's Den was I was way too general and I didn't have a niche. So I would say for you guys, one of the biggest suggestions that I would give to you is to make sure you have a niche that you're catering to. When I first opened up the gym, I wanted to be the guy who could do everything because I figured I could get as many people into the gym as possible. I wanted to be the boot camp guy, the strength guy, the weight loss guy, the Zumba guy, the Pilates guy, the Olympic lifting guy, the strongman guy, the underwater diving guy. I wanted to be everything. But like I said earlier, you wanna have a niche. You wanna get really good at that one thing and become the expert in the area for that one thing. And that's what's gonna draw people to you. So it wasn't until I really just kinda of knuckled down and said, I'm just doing strength and conditioning with a huge emphasis on strongman and powerlifting that more and more people started to recognize the gym for that and come to the gym because they were looking for that specifically. Another quick thing that I realized too is often people would ask me all the time, well, what is your gym about? And I used to kind of ramble on and on, but what you really want to do is have a one sentence to describe to somebody exactly what your gym is about. So we are an elite strength and conditioning facility with an emphasis on strongman training. Boom, simple, concise to the point. They understand what you're about. It's not confusing and you're not confusing uh, the audience that you're talking to. They know what they're getting. Niche, 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 niche. Another side note too, is if you're doing something that you know isn't true to yourself, the people are gonna sense that. 
So if you want to be a strongman gym, but you're dabbling in Olympic weightlifting and cross it all the time, people are going to sense that you want to be into what you're about and what you're teaching. And it's going to help you stay in this for the long haul. So don't just do whatever is trendy or whatever the hot thing is at the time. Stick to your guns and do what you like to do and what you are passionate about. All right, so now that we have the gym set up, all the beautiful, pristine equipment is in, the music is bumping, we have the big garage door, people are gonna be flying into this place. Wrong. So mistake number three was thinking that just because I had everything all figured out and I was set up an established business, that it was gonna just draw people in magically through the doors when that was far from the truth. So my biggest thing that I would tell you guys if you're opening up a space is to make sure that you have some sort of marketing strategy in place, whether that would be through social media, through ads, uh, just getting involved with business development in the community and just meeting new people uh, or something like that. You need to have that stuff in place because people are not just gonna come flooding in the doors you're new to the area, they don't know that you're here. So you have to try to make as much noise as possible, literally and figuratively, to get people to realize where you're at and where your location is. Have those things in place well ahead of time and understand that there's gonna be a lot of slow time and it's gonna be almost like a snowball effect. where you are gonna have to keep rolling that snowball and get momentum and grow bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, the biggest thing that has helped my business has been word of mouth and having a social media presence for sure, 100%. So if you don't have a social media presence, really start building that and try to go above and beyond taking care of your clients and members so that they go and tell other people uh, what you're about and get them in. So I know a lot of you guys are currently members at gyms or maybe you have a garage gym or maybe have some ideas, but I'd like you to comment below with what do you love the most about your gym? Okay, is it the equipment? Is it the atmosphere, the environment, the community, the people? Is there something really small that they do that you just absolutely love? Let me know down below in the comment section. Uh, that'd be super cool. But that's pretty much it, guys. Those are my three biggest mistakes that I made uh, when starting the gym. I've made a ton more that I can really go into with other videos, but I would say if you're starting from scratch, those are kind of the big things that stood out to me that I messed up with, and hopefully you guys can learn uh, from my mistakes by making sure that you're taking the time to pick the location, uh, make sure that you have your niche, uh, and then also understanding that people are not gonna come flooding in the doors, so have some sort of strategy or marketing in place and also the funds to keep your business growing during that kind of starting uh, uh, point and building that snowball. If you liked the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Once again, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the videos that I put out. I'm trying to put out some more business content for those of you entrepreneurs who wanna start your own business, have your own business, uh, and kind of just help increase your influence, impact, and income uh, with the gym biz. So, there you guys have it. Make sure that you stay a lean, mean, strength machine. I'll talk to you next time. Peace.